Kachemak Crane Wash and the International Crane Foundation are undertaking a three-year Lesser Sandhill Crane Nesting Ecology Study in the Homer area. The study will look at the crane's nesting habitat, reproductive success, roosting locations, and include a population estimate. The study area for the project lies south of Anchor Point to Kachemak Bay and east to Fox River Flats. The Kenai Watershed Forum map wetlands in the Kenai Peninsula lowlands. They identified 10 different wetland ecosystem types. The Watershed Forum's work included an analysis of wetlands that would be suitable habitat for sandhill cranes, which they identified as lake bed wetlands. The nesting ecology study is looking at whether cranes nest only in these habitat types. So where do cranes nest in the Homer area? Nests were located in tidal wetlands, depressional wetlands, wetland upland complexes, upland areas, and one on an island on a man-made pond. To date, no crane nests have been found in lake bed wetlands. One nest was found in this upland area. One pair nested in this tidal wetland, Mariner's Park Lagoon. Another pair nested in a tidal wetland in Beluga Slough. One pair nested on a human-constructed island in an artificial pond. Wildlife biologist Michelle Michaud is measuring a crane nest located in an upland area off East End Road. Nests are typically two feet by two and a quarter feet. Most nests are made of grasses and or sedge material. This nest includes eggshell fragments. Here is the nest located on the artificial island. This nest is located in a wetland upland complex off West Hill Road in Homer, Alaska. Fireweed provided good cover for this upland nest located about 12 miles out East End Road. Typical day in locating a crane's nest includes meeting with the landowners to identify the proximity of the nest. Here Michelle is making her way to an island to take nest measurements. The mud in the pond was too deep to try walking to the island, so the landowner provided Michelle with an inner tube and she rowed herself to the island. Based on the results from the first field season, 24 nesting pairs were observed with only five nests actually located. Heavy vegetation growth later in the season made it more difficult to locate nests. In one area, the grasses were over six feet tall. Sandhill crane chicks, known as colts, are quite cute when they are young but totally helpless and dependent on their parents. Sometimes colts are orphaned or abandoned. This colt was cared for by Kachemak Crane Watch until it could be transported to Anchorage's Bird Treatment and Learning Center. Pairs and their flightless colts remain in the general nesting area, foraging, preening, and roosting. The pairs are quite territorial and will chase off other cranes coming into their territory. Nesting pairs and their colts can be found in many residential neighborhoods in the Homer area. Landowners are very protective of their cranes. Many landowners supplement the crane's food supply with corn, which gives them an added boost prior to migration. This is the same food that they would feed on in corn stubble fields in their winter range in Central California. Colts are easily distinguishable from adults as they lack the red forehead and the yellow eyes. Of the 24 nesting pairs observed, only 17 raised colts to the fledgling stage. This map shows the general location of nesting pairs. The red and yellow represent nests where the eggs hatched. However, not all of the colts fledged. A Sandhill Crane Atlas is being developed. This atlas will allow the general public to go online to report their crane sightings. The person making the report will be able to go to a Google map and pinpoint the exact location of their sighting. The atlas will ask for such information as the date, the time of day, the number of cranes observed, both adults and colts, and whether a tag crane was observed. This is one of the cranes with the satellite transmitter affixed to its legs. We hope to have this atlas up and running by mid-April 2012. On August 29th, September 2nd and September 6, 2011, Homer area residents were asked to keep track of crane sightings by location, time of day, and number of cranes observed. With this information, we hope to get an estimate of the crane population for the Homer area. The largest number observed to date at one location was 96 cranes. 
The Sandhill Crane Nesting Ecology Study will continue in 2012 when the cranes return from their wintering grounds in late April, early May. This year, a lesser Canada goose has been keeping company with the cranes. The question will be whether the goose migrates south with the cranes mid-September. <laughs>